Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Advance Wars. This is Rockhawk64, and this mission we're going to learn a little bit more. Uh, we're going to get introduced to some new units. As you can see right there are two of the names, the rockets and the missiles. So uh, let's go ahead and just get this show started. So yeah, this looks like a fairly simple map, but things can go really wrong really quick. And in fact, my first recording of this, I ended up having to redo because my grand plan got screwed up severely. Uh, because I made a miscalculation there. <laughs> so yeah, hmm. Least they could do. Uh, why can't they do? Uh, like, I don't know, something awesome? Like fighters, maybe? Oh well. Point is, we're just gonna have to deal without them. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and get this show on the road? Uh, so yeah, we go ahead and we have some things going on here with a quote-unquote well-balanced army. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's a decently balanced army. You know, considering we haven't been introduced to Navy yet. So yeah, the bombers need to die is basically what Nell's point is there. Is we need to kill the bombers. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. So yeah, the missiles indirect units that in this case will soon outlive its purpose because they can only fire on air units. I guess that there's only like five. Four or five, I think. Okay, it looks like four. So yeah. Let's see, blah blah. Same as usual, blah blah. Anti air, blah blah. Rockets, blah blah. Basically, steroid. No, oh, artillery on steroids. Jeez, if I can talk straight today. Blah blah. Attack space, blah blah. Command, fire. And. Let's go ahead and take out the medium tank, or at least attack it anyway. Good blah blah. And we know no direct fire blah blah. Heavy damage direct combat. Don't let anything get close basically is what they're saying there. Mm, fire movement. Fun, I guess. Mm, yeah, we always take the strategic hand. Take out as many as we can. With the anti-air and missiles. Yeah, we know it's around missiles and rockets. Take out the units around the HQ. We can send troops in or slowly work our way in. You know, we really don't care at this point. I'm a big advocate of this particular tactic. Nothing can easily sneak up on us. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with sending in units to, uh, to try and capture around in case we can make a break without anything seriously coming at us. Yeah, see, normally I'd move this chopper and go in down and attack, but, uh, the fact that this bomber is right here complicates that. And I really don't want to risk a T-copter to one of these down here, so... Yeah, this is, that's what we'll do. Uh, other than that, everything looks fine. Let's move that there just in case. Move you up here to provide some support. No one actually does not begin with his usual little speech. That's kind of odd. See, if we hadn't taken out that first bomber, he would have then been able to sweep in and attack my rocket. Then he parks himself right in front of my anti-air unit, practically begging to be hit. So, let's grant his wish.
Now the question would have normally been which quote-unquote target do you take out? The way I see it, we only have one option to take out. By the way, we don't risk our T-Copter. Now you may be thinking, oh man, he's stupid, he left his rockets open. Uh, not quite, daniel son. So let's go ahead and kill that. Reduce our counterfire there. So yeah, this this little this this little battle's coming out to be exactly the way I needed it to be for now. Yeah, we're almost there already. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna happen. That's why I just let him lose one union instead of just two there. Yeah, I don't know how one shot manages to hit more than one unit, but eh, whatever. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and try and finish this thing off as quickly as possible. And it should be next turn that we can begin capturing. And this thing just now outlived its usefulness as soon as it kills this unit. There, it's useful for nothing more. So we're going to go ahead and send you to the front line. And get the rest of you working on it. Except for you, you're going to go over here and help with this effort. Really gig beats shooty thingy. Everyone knows that. Unless this is one of those really gigs. Those really gigs don't fight, so. Retreating, are we? You just left me in to perfectly start capturing a turn earlier. This is actually working out better than the than last time. And it's set up so that, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get it set up so that if you try and attack, you're, uh, you're pretty much screwed. Now we set you to attack there. I'm not sure what's gonna win out. I think a capture might actually win out here. Instead of just, you know, the usual capture everything you see. I mean, kill everything you see. Sheesh. What are we doing? Taking prisoners of war now? Certainly seems that way. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and take care of this here. <laughs> Next turn you'll be able to help with the decimations. So, yeah. See, he's just gonna sit there and recover the tank. So here's my tactic. Oh, sorry, I set it up a little there. Uh, don't know why. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah. I don't think Olaf is gonna win this battle. I just have this funny feeling. Let's we'll see what Ellie does. I capture as usual. Moving back, moving forward. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end it. So yeah, that's the battle. Just wait until next time, it's funny. That's right, victory goes to me, because I rule.
It's actually got a fairly decent rating on there, too. So, uh, yeah, that's that mission. That's one half of this episode. Yay, one half of the episode. Ah, uh, so... Ah, uh, this is the fun mission. Hey, we finally got bombers and fighters! Three of each. Only for this mission. Boo! So yeah, this is a three-day map. I have never figured out a way to beat this in two days. No matter how well you use your units, it's a three-day map. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So yeah, we were actually able to prepare before he was. Ah, uh, that ever helpful R button. I think Noel actually does say that at one point. So yeah, let's go ahead and just obliterate. That's our mission here, is obliterate. There will be no with the HQ capturing here. This is all obliteration. Uh, the fine art of obliteration. Hmm. Ah, uh, there, we've at least hindered that effort. See, we- see, we- and the funny thing is, is Olaf is uh, one step ahead of us again. Because he has those, which we don't have, which sucks. Yeah, it sucks to the royally high heaven. Actually, let's play this just right, we won't even have to worry about it. Oh yeah, I guess we will. I don't want to try and just destroy as many units as possible. Fine, no, oh, I guess we don't have to worry about that missile, that missile unit. <laughs> that thing's... Uh, basically, Olaf's troops here are here for just one purpose and one purpose alone die gloriously in battle. So yeah, we're just here to kill, 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 blow things up. Die, die, everything must die, kill, blow things up. We all know the whole drill. Gotta kill and blow them up. Blow them up and kill them. And there, he's in a few units. We've effectively shielded ours from damage. Oh, he may still go up and attack our rockets, I think. Ah, there's no way around it. Yeah, you're not gonna make anything, really. Sorry, Olaf, you just suck. Fortunately, those rockets will recover 2 HP on every turn, so pretty soon they'll be getting a little bit more potent. But I do think it's really time to nip that in the bud before it gets any more dangerous, so... Kill and destroy, destroy and kill. Not really much to say, really, about this mission. I mean, you know, other than the fact that he's blatantly putting his units into harm's way, so... Once again, terrible, terrible unit use. It's been said before, but Olaf is about a... with the brute force that he uses, he may have it, but he's a... but he's about effective as using... He's about as effective with it as a picket tank is... A picket fence is about stopping a tank. So, yeah, we're just basically here to obliterate everything. We'll see how well we can do that job, eh? Yeah, that's... This is just... Lambs to slaughter. Lambs to slaughter, Watson. Lambs to slaughter.
Uh, in fact, I don't think we're even going to have to worry about losing any units here. Hopefully. Uh, let's see, what other havoc can we wreak? We can bomb you to death here. Like that. So we can also bomb you to death and everything else will be finished off on this next turn. See, I mean, even if I'd gone on the offensive with a couple more units, I'd have maybe had this and maybe one of, maybe one of these two destroyed, but... Really, that's about all. That's good, he's going down there. Now let's see what his other one does. Hopefully it attacks one of my choppers and not my missile. Ah, that sucks. Let's hope it can survive. Nope, lost one unit. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, anyways, lost one unit. Well, no, my revenge. I find it kind of funny how easily this mission is beaten. Ah, I just checked the wrong thing there, but eh, it's not like it really matters. Still got the job done! Yeah, I mean, this mission is just a piece of cake. Just so long as uh, you make sure that you use what units that you have wisely, there's no way you can lose. I've always liked the fire shots that run along the ground. You know, the ones that miss but still leave those tracers, so yeah. This is a fairly short mission, so I think the fact that the last mission took a little bit longer than I expected, this, this mission just kind of balances it out. See, we're over already. This is already the end of the episode. Three days? Really? You're impressed? That's good. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah. Now Olaf is mad, and this uh, calls it an episode. So, once again, this has been Rockhawk64. This has been Let's Play Advance Wars. I look forward to seeing you all here next time. So, uh, wanna go ahead and say peace out, y'all. And, uh, have fun.